Welcome back. As we go through the course, I'm putting together a series of assignments for you to practice the things that we're talking about in the videos and that are being covered in the manual. The first assignment, assignment one, is available in the manual. And assignment one is really just to practice using NCBI's eDirect, the tool that allows you computational access to the NCBI databases. The assignment's relatively straightforward. I've given you a file with a list of different bacteria in it. Um, for example, maybe Mycobacterium tuberculosis. When we talk about names like this, this is the genus and this is the species. So the file I've given you has about 70 different bacteria listed as genus and species. And the assignment is to use eDirect to figure out which of those bacteria has the most number of genomes associated with it and how many genomes there are associated with it. All of the details on how to do that have been covered in the eDirect video and are also covered in the eDirect chapter in the Computational Genomics Manual. You may need to add some of your new Linux skills, maybe a little bit of bash scripting, to go through that file one at a time so that you don't end up doing it manually, you're not copying and pasting, you're writing a little program to actually do that. The second part of the assignment is to take one particular bacteria and to download all of the genomes associated with that bacteria and calculate the average size of those genomes. In the assignment that I've posted online, I've given you a little hint that will help you with that latter step, the calculating the average genome size. While the assignment's live for the next couple of weeks, and this is being recorded in late 2018, so for the next couple of weeks, I'm not going to post the result. But probably by the time you're watching these videos, I'll have posted the answer and I'll post some code that shows you how to process the whole file and to run through and, and get the answers. But I encourage you to try and think about solving the problem before you look at the solution because that's the way that you're going to learn. As we go through the course, I'm going to post more and more assignments to give you more and more practice. And all of them you should be able to accomplish using the Amazon Web Service image that I've provided for you. Good luck.